this is the second situation where a gap wedge can really be extremely helpful. So I'm about four yards from the green and the green's on a slight plateau and the pin is cut pretty close to the front of the green. So I've got to hit a very little shot, so I'm going to chip the ball, but it's got to fly high and it can't roll out too far. So a lot of the time a golfer would take a sandwich from here and theoretically speaking that's the correct club but as you know it's not that easy to hit the sandwich especially under pressure so there's a solution to that and that is our gap wedge the gap wedge has four degrees in my case uh, less loft and uh, that helps a lot less loft means it's more difficult to allow the leading edge of the club to jag into the ground okay so the, the ball will still fly high enough with this club it's got enough loft 52 degree, degrees is a lot of loft but the the contact is just so much easier so i'm just doing a small little chip shot very quiet wrists i see my landing spot at the front of the green and I can play this nice and gently. And I think I've got a good chance of holding that putt. Okay, so around the greens, when you need to get the ball to fly a bit higher, or maybe the grass is a bit longer, you need a bit of a steeper uh, downswing, you need to chop at it a bit, but you don't want the shot to be too difficult, then use your gap wedge instead of your sandwich or your lob wedge.